Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about a triple product uh, of three vectors. Uh, so, triple product means actually we are dealing with triple three vectors. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to start with the scale triple product. Uh, so, for the scalar triple product, actually, we are considering three vectors. So, uh, I'm going to take a vector as my uh, first vector. So, so we can write uh, in terms of x hat and y hat and c hat. So, x y x a y az are the component vector components of uh, x uh, along x hat direction and y hat direction and c hat direction so um b like uh, similarly uh, i can write uh, b and c in terms of x hat y hat and c hat so now i'm going to kind of define the scalar triple product so uh, in the in this uh, in this scalar triple product we can write a dot b cross c so actually this gives you a b cross c this gives you a uh, vector another vector let's say uh, for uh, for the simplicity we can say that this vector is uh, d so now you are going to have a uh, dot product so dot product of two vectors so actually uh, a dot d actually uh, this dot product gives you a scalar let's say that scalar is k so uh, now I'm going to uh, derive the derive an uh, general expre expression for the uh, scalar triple product. So now uh, I have this uh, my vector a. So this is my a vector and a x, x hat and a y y hat and a c z, z hat. So I'm going to take dot product uh, with the b cross c. So uh, what I'm going to do here is that uh, I'm going to write b cross c. In the matrix format so you can uh, take the determinant of the matrix actually so x cross y cross c cross in the top of this determinant and in the middle of this determinant you will have the first vectors so of the first vector is going to be b so the vector components of b can be written in the middle of the um, matrix actually the determinant so uh, now in the top of this uh, determinant uh, you can write the second uh, second second vector second vector components so um the components of the second vector is uh, cx cy cz so uh, now you are going to find the uh, determinant of this uh, matrix so when you are going to when you are going to find the determinant of this matrix you will have a, another vector let's say that vector is a d so you will have this kind of a vector uh, when you simplify it so now you will have a uh, here you will have these uh, a vector and you know that uh, when you expand these terms when you expand these to these terms you will have uh, ax uh, by bc likewise uh, you will have x cross dot sorry x hat dot x hat so you know that from the pre previous re previous video we have mentioned that x hat dot x hat is equals e 1 and y hat dot y hat is equals 1 Similarly, z hat dot z hat is equals one. So now uh, you know that uh, from the previous video, actually uh, x hat dot y hat is equal zero. Likewise, uh, when you have different uh, unit vectors, uh, when you have the uh, scalar product of uh, different vectors, different unit vectors, you will get zero. So uh, what type of uh, what kind of uh, terms will be uh, remain? Uh, after expansion of these uh, two uh, terms so you will have only ax uh, ax times this this term and ay times this term and uh, az times this term you will uh, it will be remained after this expansion so these are the three terms uh, that will be remained so uh, what I going what I'm going to show you is that uh, you will have a, uh, You can write this in terms of a matrix format. So actually uh, This is going to be your ax in the this is the uh, this is going to be your top Because uh, since this gives you a scalar you can write in this uh, in a mate You can write this in a determinant format so what you what you will have is that you will have uh, ax as your uh, top 
corner so ay in the uh, middle so az in the right hand upper corner so uh, now these uh, these are just like x x hat y hat and z hat in the previous determinant this is just like that so now you have ax ay az so bx by bz in the uh, middle middle uh, middle of the determinant and uh, cx cy cz in the top bottom of the determinant so uh, when you simplify this uh, when you find the determinant of this uh, matrix you will get this uh, you will get this expression so this is an exercise for you to uh, understand uh, these two are equal when you uh, solve the when you solve the determinant of this matrix you will get the uh, this kind of expression so uh, this is an just this is just an ex ex exercise for you so I'm going to uh, show you an example here. So when we have three uh, vectors uh, like uh, a is equals to i plus j plus k, and let's say b is equals uh, two i plus three j plus two uh, k, and c is equals i plus two j plus k. So uh, now I'm going to calculate the a dot b cross c. So these are uh, i j k uh, is all. It's, it's, it's just an uh, unit vectors so you can consider this as x hat y hat and z hat so let's say that uh, i hat is equals x hat so j hat is equals y hat and k hat is equals a c hat so these are just equal so now uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, find the uh, vector components of this uh, i hat so vector components of a uh, vector components of a uh, so now i have this ax equals 1 and ay is equals 1 and az is equals 1 so likewise uh, you can find find the vector components of b vector so b vector components are uh, bx equals 2 and uh, i have written this b by is equals 3 and bz is equals 2 so likewise uh, you can uh, find find for the c so now you have one to one so uh, now you are going to find the determinant of this matrix so you are going to find the determinant when, when you are going to find the determinant i'm not going to do that for you so um, i have simplified here simplified it here so this is just a basic uh, matrix knowledge so finding the uh, det determinant of a matrix is just a matrix knowledge so when you're going to find the three by th when you're find going to find the determinant of three by three matrix, you will have to put plus minus plus. Uh, this is just a pattern. So um, now uh, you will have plus one here and plus one here. So when you are going to find the uh, when you are find going to find the determinant, you will have to forget about this term because uh, you already. Uh, you already uh, got this term to this uh, place so uh, now we are going to find the determinant of uh, these two matrix uh, these four elements matrix so now you have 3 times 1 minus 2 times 2 likewise you can get uh, minus 1 out of this out of these uh, terms and minus 1 when you get minus 1 you have to forget this uh, minus 1 column and row so now you have four elements 2 2 1 1 and you will have a matrix like 2 2 1 1 so you will have to find the determinant of this matrix uh, so 2 1 minus 2 1 so that is equal 0 likewise uh, you will have to find the plus 1 times uh, 2 times 2 uh, minus 3 times 1 so this gives you 1 so uh, when you uh, simplify it, uh, it's, it's going to be zero. So the value of this uh, scalar triple product is equal zero. So uh, and uh, another thing uh, I have to mention about triple product is triple scale, scalar product is that is uh, a dot b cross c is equals b dot c cross a is equals to c dot a cross b. So how this can happen? So actually, uh, when you have a 
when you have the determinant for this a dot b cross c so you will have a determinant like this ax ay ac bx by bz and cx cy cc so this is equals to the determinant of bx by bc and cx cy cc ax ay ac this is just like an interchange or, or you can say uh, this is this is just like a rotation actually so now we are going to now we are going to rotate actually so what you have to do is that you are going to find uh, you are going to rotate this ax ay z az so now when you going to when you when you rotate so this bx by bz come to the uh, top of this uh, determinant and the c x c y z c comes to the middle of this determinant and a x a y a z goes to the bottom of this determinant so that's what happens here so um, in the matrix knowledge with the matrix knowledge you know that uh, this type of determinants are equal when you're going to rotate when you're going to interchange this so now uh, you can rotate it again so you can when you rotate it again you will have you will have bx by bz at the top at the bottom of this determinant and cx cy cz going to uh, going to be in the top of the um, lies top of this determinant so that's what happens here so uh, ax ay is it going to be uh, at the middle of the determinant so this is what happens here so so um, uh, now this is why we can say uh, a dot b cross c is equals b dot c cross a is equals c, c dot a cross b. So this is an important uh, important feature of uh, scalar product. And when you have a dot b cross c, uh, this gives you a scalar. Since this gives you a scalar, that means that you can write b cross c first b cross c first and uh, you can take the dot product with a uh, when you first find the uh, when you first find the uh, vector vector product you can uh, write uh, in in the both ways because uh, since this gives you a scalar if you but uh, when it comes to the vector triple product it is not going to be the same thing so we will have to look at uh, when we are uh, discussing about a uh, vector triple product okay uh, let's uh, move to the uh, other type of triple product uh, that is the vector triple product because uh, when we are talking about uh, triple product actually the product of three vectors so we have scalar product and uh, vector product so this is the second type so the second type means that we have to deal with vector triple product so when we have vector triple product uh, this is the definition this is the um, definition actually so uh, a cross b cross c is the uh, def uh, defini definition for the vector triple product so uh, this gives you a b cross c this gives you a d vector like a, it's just a, another vector so uh, now you will have a vector here and you will have to find a cross product between this a and d vector so when you are when you have the final when you have the final result it's going to be another vector let's say that this uh, vector is going to be e so uh, so this is why this uh, triple product called as a vector triple product so now uh, I'm going to uh, derive a general expression for the vector triple product. Actually, uh, I'm not going to uh, derive this expression, but uh, I'm going to give you this expression. So, um, try to uh, prove this expression. So, uh, I'm going to give you a hint. Uh, so, uh, what you can do here is that you can uh, put b cross c into the matrix format, determinant format. Uh, you have the uh, have a vector. Let's say that vector is d. So, you have a uh, d vector here and you have a a vector so you can define it as a x i hat uh, a y hat a y j hat and a z c hat so the uh, similarly you can uh, write uh, b and c in terms of in terms of i hat j hat and c hat k hat so um, now uh, 
you will have d vector from the uh, b cross c so now you have a vector here so you can you can uh, take this into the matrix format so you can take uh, a cross d into the matrix format so you can find another vector from this matrix so yeah so you will have a, a general expression uh, with the terms of uh, ax ay az or something like that so but you have uh, you will have um, i hat j hat z hat so i sorry i hat j hat k hat in the final results so you have to arrange in a way that uh, that satisfied this uh, this expression so that is your task that is your responsibility to get this expression so this is an ex exercise for you this is just an example so I'm not going to prove this one so this is an exercise for you so what I have to mention uh, about the vector product vector triple product is that uh, when you're finding uh, a cross B cross C that means uh, when you have to uh, take care of these parentheses so uh, I have put the parentheses into the B cross C so uh, this has a different meaning so when it comes to parentheses of A cross B cross C so this is not equals always not equals so because uh, since the uh, since the final result of this uh, triple, triple vector product gives you a vector vector means that uh, this vector has a magnitude and also the direction so you have you will have to deal with the direction as well so this is not going to be equal so if you consider the parenthesis with the a cross b this is not going to be equal so uh, that is uh, why uh, this vector triple product is more complex than this scalar triple product so i hope you understand uh, the triple product uh, very well about in this video um, so when it comes to vector vector, vector analysis it is really important to learn these things so because uh, we are in the uh, in the real world we are dealing with the three dimensions so we are not considering about 2d because since you are not a cartoon so you are not going to have 2d type of questions uh, in exams or whatever you are facing because in the real world you will have to uh, you have to deal with three dimension so let's say for an example you are going to describe the uh, particle uh, particle in the three dimension so you will need vectors for uh, vectors to describe the motion of something some position of something so that's why uh, the studying study of vectors is really important without vectors uh, you cannot do uh, anything in physics or mathematics or something like that when you're going to um, study uh, study higher higher education so, so when you're going to do higher education this is really important to have a basic knowledge on vector analysis so in the next video, uh, we will talk about uh, position vectors and displacement vectors and uh, separation vectors. So uh, I hope to meet you in the next video.